minimum. Man, I ain't got 750 to pay. Okay, Will Ferrell presents Will Ferrell acting stupid, loud, and retarded once more. As I just did right now. <laughs> it's, it's Will Ferrell th random theater comedy. I mean, the only reason I didn't hate this movie was because I expected it to be horrible. I mean, that's the most roundabout way of saying this movie sucks I've ever heard. Just say it. It sucks. We get the point. Now, I, I totally have to disagree with you, Leon. This movie is not at all like any of Will Ferrell's other films. And those films, each and every time, he had a profession. You know, he's a race car driver, or uh, I guess maybe the next film he'll be an astronaut. But somebody sat down and said, oh my God, we're out of professions for Will Ferrell to play a man-child. Well, why don't we just have him play a man-child? We'll give him a brother or something. It was a turd. It was a turd on screen for an hour and a half and the only the only thing that was good was the pizza i was brought during the movie this is appropriate because their movies keep making money so they're like it. we're just gonna do keep doing the same shit and remove more of the plot each time until it's just john c Riley and will ferrell going i hated every person in this movie i despise them you got two parents in here two grown sensible looking people who encourage two grown men to act like retarded people. Will Ferrell, I've been talking about this guy, I've been defending him, saying he's a talented guy, he just needs something different, and what does he do? He goes out and gets the most pointless project that he can find just to allow himself to act stupid. We get that stereo when they bring in John C. Riley. I'm like, oh, please, man, they need to treat this guy like Lenny from Mice and Man, pull them in the back of his shed and put a bullet in the back of both their heads. Damn. Jesus, because, dude. Because, you don't think maybe that's a little harsh? Because these two men are dangerous. They're going to cause some harm to themselves and everybody else if they are not stopped. I can't wait to see it. The, the marketing company for this movie is going to say, Corey Coleman of Spill compares it to Steinbeck. <laughs> <laughs> the one character that I did laugh at was Richard Jenkins. Just him being the angry dad who was fed up with it. Personally, I think the movie was trying to make a statement about white parents that don't spank their kids. I don't remember them saying anything that pointed the finger at color. Why you got to bring color into man, it, you, man? You know white people don't spank their kids. And that's why they run around going, I hate you, mom. F*** you. F*** you. It, if it was a black kid, because I've seen this happen with black kids. They don't grow up retarded. They grow up dangerous. They, you know, they, grow, they grow up to rob your ass at the liquor store. So that's a totally different movie. Yeah, this movie's terrible. It, it really is bad. At the same time, I did chuckle off and on throughout it, didn't hate it. I'm gonna say rental. There's no progression of story. It's just one lame gag after another. Right. This movie, it's okay, it's, it's, no, it's no mystery here. It's no secret. I thought it was bullshit. It's some old bullshit. I, I don't think I can put it more succinctly than that. This movie is some old bullshit. I, I, will, I think this may be the very last Will Ferrell written comedy that I review simply because I really don't want to think or talk about these anymore. But, but I, no. I'm kind of with Leon with this in just the sense that y'all are so angry at this and I don't have any anger towards it at all. It's exactly what I expected it to be and I actually don't even think it's terrible per se compared to the other movies. I'm like, it's another Will Ferrell movie. I gotta give it a rental. Oh, by the way, just to be fair, I did get some laughs too out of it. I, I mean, I, I thought I heard you laugh no, at least no, no. once. When those fools showed up to go to uh, a job interview in tuxedos, that cracked me up for some reason. They you've done that. <laughs> <laughs> you shut, 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 shut your mouth. I needed someone to Wait, shut your mouth. Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. I'm sorry? What did You're you just say? You're just coming say? off stupid. I'm coming off as stupid. You're wearing tuxedos to a job that requires you to clean bathrooms. Please leave this office. We're done with this interview. Do we get any sort of souvenir? Get out of my office! You wanna know why I'm really angry? Go for it. Not only do I hate these characters, not only do I hate this movie, but I hate sitting next to Bo. I can't take it. <laughs> he was funny. Normally, I don't have that big a problem with it, but he, he, it was like, that. this really isn't that funny, and he's dying laughing during <laughs> But this time, Bo is, he's like Robert De Niro in every movie. Yeah, I, was, I mean, he was, he was pretty much crawling on my head. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. It, and then, yeah, then when he leaves, it's like, so what'd you think of it? And he was like, eh, it's amusing. <laughs> <laughs>